Ever wondered how complex decision-making scenarios are tackled in real-life situations? Imagine a discipline that uses mathematical techniques to navigate these complexities, finding optimal decisions. This is operations research. It's like a secret weapon in myriad sectors, finance, logistics and healthcare to name just a few. It's through methods such as goal programming and sensitivity analysis that operations research becomes a game changer. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into these intriguing concepts in our upcoming videos. Imagine you're a manager at a factory with multiple production goals but limited resources. Picture this. You're overseeing a bustling factory floor. Your task is to produce three different types of widgets, A, B and C. However, you only have a finite amount of manpower, machinery and materials. How do you decide which widget gets priority? How do you allocate your resources to meet your production goals? This is where goal programming comes into play. It's a mathematical approach that helps you prioritize and manage conflicting goals in the face of resource constraints. Think of it as a high-stakes game of balance where you're trying to keep all your objectives on an even keel. Let's say, for instance, widget A brings in the most profit, but widget B is a customer favorite, and widget C, though less popular, is crucial for a big contract. The easy way out might be to focus on widget A for the profit, but that could mean losing customers who favor widget B and jeopardizing the big contract tied to widget C. So what do you do? You use goal programming. This method helps you establish a hierarchy of goals, assign them weights based on their importance, and then allocate resources to achieve them as best as possible. It's a delicate dance, a juggling act if you will, or where you aim to keep all balls in the air, ensuring none of them drops. That, in a nutshell, is goal programming. It's like being a juggler who keeps all balls in the air without dropping any. Now, let's say you're a financial analyst predicting the future of stock prices. You're trying to figure out how changes in interest rates, inflation or company earnings might affect your portfolio. This is where sensitivity analysis comes into play. Sensitivity analysis is a method used in the realm of operations research to determine how different values of an independent variable impact a particular dependent variable under a given set of assumptions. It's like a what-if tool that helps us understand the effect of changes in input on the output. Picture this. You're analyzing a tech company's stock. The independent variables could be things like the company's revenue, the state of the economy, or even the CEO's latest tweet. The dependent variable is the stock price. Sensitivity analysis allows you to adjust these independent variables one at a time to see how each change might affect the stock price. For instance, if the company's revenue goes up by 5%, what happens to the stock price? If the economy takes a downturn, how does this impact the stock price? This method gives you a range of possible outcomes and their probabilities, helping you make informed decisions. It's like having your own financial crystal ball, predicting different futures based on various scenarios. With sensitivity analysis, you're essentially peering into the future and assessing possible outcomes. It's a powerful tool in any analyst kit, helping you navigate the uncertain waters of financial markets. Operations research is like a toolkit for making the best decisions in complicated scenarios. We've dived into goal programming, seeing how it helps optimize multiple, often conflicting objectives. We've also unpacked sensitivity analysis, demonstrating its power in assessing the impact of changes on outcomes. But that's not all, folks. Our next adventure takes us into the realm of dynamic programming, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more intriguing insights. Visit BeAwareChannel.com for premium content and more. Keep learning, keep growing.